says of Cyrus, he is my shepherd. I shall perform all my pleasure. Not only that he performs all his will, all his word, he also raises up people, whether they are princes or they are preachers or they are pastors or proclaimers of the word of God, that God puts the power in them that they will perform all his pleasure and then even saying to Jerusalem thou shall be built and to the temple that foundation shall be laid the word of God will be performed in your life tonight we have the assurance because God says I am God I change not we have the assurance because he's the God of salvation. We have the assurance because he's the God who heals. That the psalmist said, bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities and who healeth, healeth, healeth. In the present continuous tense, healeth all thy diseases. It's a God that changes not. It's a God that whatever you did, in the past is still able to do today in Isaiah chapter 45 and I'm reading from verse 22 Isaiah chapter 45 and we're reading from verse 22 it tells us in Isaiah 45 22 look unto me you've looked in other directions and those personalities you have looked at and those professionals you have looked at, and those earthly powers you have looked at, they failed you. They've disappointed you. They couldn't forgive your sin. They couldn't erase your sin. They couldn't set you free from sin. They couldn't liberate you from the power and the hold of sin. And so he says, since you have looked there, it failed. You have looked there, it failed. You have looked there, it failed. You have looked at yourself and you have looked at the resolutions you made. I will try my best. I will turn over a new leaf. That that will not happen again. It kept on happening year after I said now. I'm too tired of looking at the powers that cannot save, at the powers that cannot heal. And so he says, look unto me and be saved. Salvation has come. I said salvation has come. Look away from all the powers that fail, all the powers that cannot help you, and look unto me, all the ends of the earth, and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, the God who saves. I am God, the God who heals. I am God, the God who delivers. I am God, the God that performs all his word. I am God, and there is none else. And as you look today, salvation will come. As you look today, healing will come. And you know, he didn't put any restriction there as to maybe, uh, you know, if you have been going to this particular church, if you wash with this particular kind of water, and if you burn this kind of candle, and you follow this path, and you make this, he said, no, everyone, all the eggs of the earth, online, everyone, on the radio, everyone, on the television, everyone, as we look tonight, salvation will come from the Lord in Jesus' name. Look unto me, Christ says, come unto me. Peter was around, he didn't say go to Peter, St. Peter. And John was around, he didn't say go to St. John. Can I tell you, the mother Mary was around, and he didn't say, if you cannot get to me, get to her, and you'll have salvation. No, nobody else is savior with Christ. A man, a woman, a virgin, anyone, no one else is co-savior with Christ. Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is none else. You are coming to the Lord tonight. Salvation, heaven sage, salvation, heaven approved, salvation, effective salvation, powerful salvation. 
total redemption coming upon your life tonight in Jesus name but remember 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 look unto me and be saved and be healed and be delivered and be set free and have your name in the book of life in heaven for I am God and there is none else we're coming to point number three now point number three is the power for wonders as he walks as he walks God is still at work our healer is still at work I thought you would say amen and because he's still at work that's why we come to him and before I read the other references I'm going to go to the very last one in John chapter 5 and I'm looking at verse 17 John chapter 5 and we're looking at verse 17 it says, but Jesus answered them my father walketh hitherto my father walketh keeps on walking hitherto to this point there are people that feel that God stopped walking saving delivering setting free after he had finished the work of creation far back in Genesis chapter 1 chapter 2 and they thought the father the heavenly father has stopped walking those people they do not read the bible well they don't read the bible aright they don't understand he walked at the time of noah he kept on walking he saved the people that believe they didn't understand he walked at the time of abraham and he was spoke to abraham and then i said the son was in a figure raised from the dead he walked in the time of joseph he gave him those dreams and he walked and he fulfilled everything what in the time of Moses and I've said he said I've seen the affliction of my people Israel and I'm sending you come down I'm sending you to deliver them liberate them he walked at the Red Sea he opened the Red Sea and the Red Sea opened and they passed on he walked at the time of Joshua and Joshua said son stand there and he stood still and moved stand there and stand still he walked in the time of Gideon and Gideon was three hundred able to destroy all those Midianites they walked in the time of David and David by one uh, by one sling of the stone he killed and destroyed the greatest enemy of the land Goliath he walked in the time of Isaiah and he said go tell that man uh, Ezekiel that saying to me that that fellow said you'll all be dead he'll not go back to where he was and then God sent an angel and destroy 185,000 uh, soldiers in one night. God walks and he has not gone walking. You are the next one now. He will walk in your life. It will walk in your body. It will walk through and through anything that is upside down. The Lord will turn it right side up anything of sickness anything of infirmity anything of evil power attack in your life all the attack will be taken away from your life in jesus name my father walketh hitherto and i walk and i walk and i walk and christ said he also kept on walking the bible says after christ went to heaven in mark chapter 16 verse 19 is in heaven now and then it says in the next verse and he said they all went out and they preached the word the lord walking with them even though christ had gone to heaven christ also kept on walking jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever is now is about to walk on your body about to walk on those eyesight about to walk on your hearing about to walk in taking away all that infirmity away from your life your time has come my time has come the work of salvation 
the work of healing, the work of deliverance, he is still working. In my life, it will work today. I said in my life, it will work today. Let's now look at the, what work does he do? The Father, keeping on working. The Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. What does Christ continue to do? The power for wonders as he works. We're looking at Isaiah again, chapter 53, and I'm looking at verse 4. In Isaiah chapter 53, we're looking at verse 4. Surely he has borne our grief. That word born there is, it means to carry. He has taken, taken away. He has carried. He has removed. He has borne. He has removed. He has carried our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, and, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes were healed. We are healed. We are healed. Let me tell you something. Before Christ came, I say anew that Christ was coming. You know, if a prophet declares something, he tells us, number one, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son, and I shall call his name Emmanuel. And as you open the pages of the New Testament, the very first page, it says, you bring forth a son, and I shall call his name Jesus, for he will take away and he will carry away and he will forgive his people's sins and then that's verse 21 in verse 23 it says that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet that he'll bring forth a son and his name shall be called Emmanuel right online and then the same Isaiah he said unto us a child is born Unto us, his son is given. His name will be called Wonderful, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And he says, the zeal of the Lord shall perform this. He said that what he said in chapter 7 came true, Matthew chapter 1. What he said in, in, um, in uh, chapter 9, it came through Luke chapter 1. And now he says another thing. And he says that when he comes, he will die on the cross. And by his tries, do you remember how they put all those lashes on him? Before he was born, he said that. And he said, by his tries, we are healed. And as we come to Matthew chapter 8 and in verse 16, it says in the evening, they brought unto him all that was sick, all that had the palsy. And all those people, they were healed. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, that by his tribes were healed. And Christ was on, on earth then. And after Christ went to heaven, here Peter is writing and reminding us. And he says, Christ died on the tree. That's in chapter 2, verse 24. That he might forgive our sins and we have the righteousness of God. And then again he says, by his tribes we were healed. Everything is said about Christ. Everything we see coming through. And what he has said about but healing, it must come true in your life. Yeah. Your sickness must be taken away. Your infirmity must be taken away because he was wounded for transgression. So that all our transgressions, all our sins, all our um, terrible, terrible acts of evil, everything. That's why he was bruised. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, tell me, make it personal. I am healed. It is done in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 16, and I'm reading from verse 15. Mark chapter 16, 
We're looking at verse 15. It says in verse 15, And he said unto them, Go ye and preach the gospel. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Look at verse 16. It says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Do you see three people there? Number one, Christ, that gave the command and the commission. And he said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Number two, the believer, the disciple, the apostle that should go. Now Christ has done what he should do. He gave the command, he paid the price, and salvation is now available. Now we, myself, and those who are walking together with me here and in other places, and I'm bringing the message to you from this place, we that he spoke to, that we should go into all the world. That's what we're doing. We're making the gospel come to every creature, those so will come, and to all the nations. Now, the third person in all this arrangement is you there. He that believeth. Christ has done his part. Your salvation is available. Your healing is available. My healing is available. Your deliverance is available. And now Christ gave the commission. We were carrying out the commission. The gospel has got into you. Now you make your choice. Now you say, yes, I believe. I believe, I believe. And because I believe, I will be saved. Say amen. amen. And then I will be healed. Say amen. amen. I will be delivered. Say amen. amen. And now he says in verse 17, in verse 17, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Do you understand that? These signs shall follow them that believe. What it means is this, that if as I, for example, I can see you, but let me just use the illustration, I, he told me to go, and then I go, I go, GCK, and we come here, we come there, and he says, these signs shall follow me. How do I understand that? As my shadow follows me, and a shadow does not say, uh-uh, when you are in a bori, I'm your shadow, I followed you. And when you are in, a, tell me, Enogo, when you are in Adamawa, Yola, when you are in Taraba, when you are at Iba, when you are in Lagos, I the shadow, I followed you. You are going to Asaba. I don't like Asaba. So, shadow, stays behind. Can that happen? No. While the sun of righteousness is shining and it shines on the person moving and it's moving and moving, the shadow will keep on following. Yeah. Therefore it says, preacher, I send you go forth and as a shadow follows you every time and Satan cannot change that, and people cannot change that. And the community cannot change that. Everywhere you go, as I send you, your shadow will be following in the same way. It says, these signs shall follow them that believe. I believe. I believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Now, every time